good morning good morning good morning we had a an idea this morning that we would get out early it's just before seven o'clock we want to get the final big european run started early because we are in the middle of a heat wave and expecting temperatures above 30 degrees so the sooner we can get to ghent in belgium which is our last stop the sooner we can chill and relax and enjoy the temperature instead of trying to remain cool through it Saarbrücken is stunning the Premier Inn we stayed at was stunning it is such a nice place uh, and interestingly from South Germany to Saarbrücken which is sort of Midwest Germany a lot more people speak English and it does make a difference I know it's the laziness of the English that we don't learn other languages but it does make it so much easier but, oh this weather is just so good we'll get on the road nice and early and head our way up towards Ghent in Belgium the the cuckoo clock had a good night's sleep in the back of the, the top box <laughs> it didn't chirp in the night <laughs> So we're heading now, we're going to have a couple of stops, we're going to go through um, Luxembourg but we're going to stop as well the other side of Luxembourg just over the border at Bastogne, that'll probably be our brunch stop, uh, so we'll probably, I'll probably record a bit of footage through Luxembourg just because it's all new for us as well but um, yeah I'll probably uh, turn the camera off for a bit now so that we can just get through the necessary motorway trips and head on towards Belgium uh, this one yeah uh. Luxembourg <laughs> another country is the best place ever that lady there is painting her toenails while she's stuck in traffic but uh, it's just it's just things you don't normally see and now she's caught me videoing her <laughs> that's hilarious <laughs> well not be funny who should be more embarrassed the person on the motorbike or the person painting their toenails while they're in traffic oh bikes can filter here we go it's moving now anyway. Do you want to do your toenails while we're on our way? Do you want to do your toenails while we're on the way? So good. Look how far over they go for for people to filter. That was nice. I'm not sure if it's just being on holiday, but foreign service stations just seem so much nicer. More relaxed. Yeah. Okay. I do like a good bridge. Belgium, our final new country on this tour. So we've completed a uh, jaunt through England. France, Switzerland, Italy, Austria, Germany, Luxembourg, and now Belgium. And then a couple of border crossings tomorrow, back into France and then back into England, and then home. What a fantastic trip this has been. But it's not over yet, we've still got uh, Bastogne to visit in a moment, and then up to Ghent for our final evening on the continent okay so we're just coming into Bastogne in Belgium uh, now if you don't know anything about Bastogne I don't you know I'm not gonna hold that against you but I suggest what you do is go and watch Band of Brothers um, which gives you a small insight into the Battle of the Bulls which took place in Bastogne and I'm not going to make the mistake of incorrectly quoting facts, but uh, the, the basics are that several US airborne uh, divisions combined, uh, along with 
other military divisions from the American army um, held Bastogne uh, through horrendous weather conditions and constant shelling from the German army before the Battle of the Bulge took place um, and it's quite a important part of uh, the Second World War and the leading to the end of the Second World War so like I say I suggest you go and watch uh, Band of Brothers which is a, not only I think quite historically correct because a lot of the interviews were taken from survivors um, but it's also an, an epic program and also just remember that it is just a program and you can't convey what these guys must have gone through uh, in a, in a dramatised TV program so yeah we're heading in now I don't know if I'll be able to or how much I'll be able to film of the memorial there I'm not even sure how much we're going to be able to see um, but I think we're here we're here this is it this is it like so well done so it's about oh actually what time is it it's 5 to 10 in the morning um, it's already I think about 26 degrees so you've got to make sure you've got priorities when you're traveling in these sorts of temperatures so cuckoo clock Starbucks mug and drink priorities sorted okay Okay, so the headphone is very easy, nothing to press, just the volume on the side. Okay, thank you. It will start automatically into the museum on the right. Okay. okay. Have a nice visit. Thank okay. you. If you want to leave your bag, uh, there is some lockers oh. in, on the left to the shop. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. That was incredible uh, and a real eye-opener, I have to say, didn't know what to expect, but that is an incredible memorial and museum, um, well worth the, uh, the entrance fee, which I think was 24, was it 24 euros each or something like that, 26 euros each, 27 euros each, um, but they, they put a lot of effort into that and have done the uh, then the memory of all those that served and lost and served and came home proud so uh, a, a re oh you can see it up there in the background yet yeah. no superb really really good right so on now to Ghent with uh, a couple of stops on the way We'll have a bit of lunch on the next stop, I think, or at least another break at the next stop. One thing it has done, it's cooled down slightly, which is nice. Because it was getting hot. Okay, so Google Maps has taken us on a little bit of a wild goose chase. It didn't realise certain entrances and exits to motorways were closed, so it's just sort of had a bit of a brain fart, which is not what you need when you're stuck in this temperature. 
on a motorcycle. I think now it's just going to join us onto the bump coming up. Join us onto the motorway that it just told us to come off. Uh, and hopefully head us on to Brussels. Looking at the route it's got in there now, if I expand it, it does look like it's just heading for Brussels, which is right. So, we'll see how we go. We could be camping tonight. <laughs> is that a definite no or a maybe no? Okay, we're not camping tonight. <laughs> well, as we slowly make our way into Ghent, which is our final uh, stop, final hotel stop of the tour. Whew, it's been a warm one. I think it's ironic that for most of the build up to the tour we were concerned about rain and snow on the Stelvio but in reality I think it's heat that's beaten us on this one and caused then the most discomfort. I think with the wetsuits we were quite happy in the rain but the last three days the trips have been shall we say difficult because of the heat and sweat. But we're nearly there. No doubt as soon as we get over the channel tomorrow it'll be uh, a bit cooler, although I've been told that we're having a bit of a heat wave in England as well, so maybe it won't be too much cooler, but there'll be plenty of stops going on tomorrow, I can guarantee you, on the way back. This is where it's taken me with the directions. But Ibis Budget, Centrum. We'll soon find out anyway. I don't think it's far from the square. Are you staying out here again? Or do you want to come in, cool down?